Hello everybody. Today I want to talk about um, the Holy Spirit and I want to talk about speaking in tongues because there's a lot of misunderstanding about speaking in tongues and the Holy Spirit because um, in the body of Christ there are those who believe in the Holy Spirit, those who don't, those who believe in the baptism of the Holy Spirit, those who don't, there are those who believe also into uh, it's speaking in tongues and even singing in tongues but some also don't believe that. Uh, others call it demonic. Uh, but today I want to uh, two scriptures. I will share um, some scriptures related to the topic, and to make you my uh, prayer by the Holy Spirit that you can understand the importance and uh, why we need the Holy Spirit and why we need to, to to be speaking in tongues when we are baptizing the Holy Spirit. First of all, um, the Bible says in Romans. We are in Romans eight um, verse twenty six. I'm reading the Bible says that and in the same way the spirit also helps our weaknesses for we do not know how to pray as we should but the spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for word here the Bible says that the Holy Spirit helps us in our weaknesses and we don't know what we ought to pray but the Holy Spirit intercede intercede it through us with, uh, with the groaning too deep for word. We got, why does this scripture mean? It means that we, sometimes we don't know what to pray. You know, we don't know how, what to, how to pray or how to pray or what to pray about. But the Holy Spirit knows our, our, knows our need. He knows us very well and He knows God. So He pray intercede through us. How does the Holy Spirit intercede through us? Let us go to the, in the book of, um, in the book of, um, uh, Mark, Mark, Mark 16 verse 17. The Bible says that uh, these are signs that will accompany those who believe in the Lord Jesus. We, which are signs? The Bible says they shall speak new tongues. They shall speak new tongues. So we see here, uh, speaking tongues are one of the signs. One of the signs that you are a believer. One of the signs. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about if you don't. I'm not saying that if you don't speak in tongues. You are not a believer, but I'm reading just the scriptures. I'm saying what the scripture says. The scripture says this is a this is the signs among the signs in Mark Mark 16 verse 17. They said that among the signs, the Bible says they shall cast out demons and they shall speak new tongues. So speaking tongues is one of the signs also for believers. Why I'm saying it's one of the signs? It's more. It's it's a it gives us uh, you know authority. You know it gives us authority. Isn't why. Um, um, uh, in the in the book of in the book of Act Act two verse four the Bible says that uh, the Holy Spirit descended upon apostles and there were flame of fire in each head there were flame of fire of each head the Holy Spirit symbolized also the power over our life the power you know a, a, a believer without the Holy Spirit is a powerless is a powerless believer as believers we need to be baptized in the Holy Spirit we need the Holy Spirit each each every day of our life, each step we take as we are advancing. So the Holy Spirit is very important and the baptism of the Holy Spirit, when we are baptizing the Holy Spirit, one of the signs when we are baptizing the Spirit, we speak in tongues. Why? Because how does tongues help us? Uh, Paul explained in Corinthians, uh, in 1 Corinthians, uh, 1 Corinthians 14, he says, he says that tongues are not for um, for the church but as for individuals for believers why because it builds up your inner your spiritual life it builds up your spiritual life because when you speak in tongues you're connecting yourself to god you know you speak it together those spirits prays through you and activated he activates the the gift of the spirit activate the connection between you and god so speaking in tongues this is very important that believers have to pray and ask god um, to, baptize, to baptize them in the Holy Spirit because we see um, there, there, were, there were also a, a kind of debate, okay? There were kind of debate saying, okay, um, how can one be baptized in the Holy Spirit? I saw uh, a debate at, uh, once I talked about the Holy Spirit again, uh, speaking in tongues. There were kind of debate, how can one be baptized in the Holy Spirit? So the first way, I think, according to the Bible, to be baptized in the Holy Spirit is to ask God, ask the Father, is your Father, ask Him to baptize Him. As I remember me as well, I was how I was baptized in the Holy Spirit. I came to Christ um, uh, when I was very young, in the young age, but I got baptized when I was like 20, 22, 
you know, or how I got baptized because I watched um, a teaching about the, the uh, speaking in tongues, how the Holy Spirit baptizes people. And then I, I became I, I became so so thirsty. I wanted also to experience that ex- experience speaking in tongues because before that time I thought okay, I thought I met people, you know, when I was I was young, growing up, I was a believer, I was even preaching. I met people speaking in tongues, but I thought maybe it's not, you know, it's not for everybody. Maybe it's not for me. And then what happens to me is that I started seeking God. I say, God, if this gift of speaking tongues, this thing of speaking tongues, it's it's possible for everybody, and it's gonna uh, also help me as well. Please baptize me. So I started uh, praying, praying, and seeking God. And one day I was praying. Uh, it was I think it was uh, around I think one o'clock in the morning. And as as I was praying, as I was praying, and then I started speaking, you know, a strange language that I couldn't, but I couldn't stop even speaking it. I started speaking, speaking, speaking. I went on for hours, and then that day, day I was baptized in the in the, in the Holy Spirit. Now, since then, uh, even the the, the 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 baptism of the Holy Spirit even become even more stronger, more authority with more authority as God. You know, it's 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 it, 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 it grows with time as we spend time in, in God's presence, as you spend time in prayer. It even grows even even stronger and stronger. I mean, stronger. I mean, when I say stronger, not in the voice. I mean, strong in the power and authority because uh, the, it's the Holy Spirit speaks through us. Sometimes uh, when you speak in tongues, you you know when you speak in tongues, you speak directly to God. Nobody can inter, inter, interfere with your prayer, or nobody can even listen what you're saying. Sometimes we don't even uh, know what we're saying, but the Holy Spirit knows because we speak directly to God. But there's also another form of speaking in tongues where, in the ensemble in the church, which Paul talks about in First Corinthians, says when uh, you speak in tongues, they, they have to be somebody to interpret what you're saying. You know that is that is in the church. We, we are praying in church. We are praying in the church. We have a service, and then the Holy Spirit touches somebody, and then starts speaking in tongues. And then uh, we that tongues might be a message, you know, a prophecy, a message which God wants to convey to you people. So you need an interpreter, somebody to interpret what the person is saying. But this this speaking tongues that it's just you and God in your closet, you know, building building up your 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 inner life. You know, it's a very important. Don't. Yeah. I know there's a lot of controversy around this topic, but don't take me for word. Just see God. Just see God and pray and ask Him. It's possible. Me, I did not go to anybody. I pray, I pray, I pray, and I was baptized. Because there's a, there's a, so many ways to get baptized. The first one is to pray to ask God. That's what I used. I prayed and asked God, and He baptized me in the Holy Spirit. And the second way we see in the, in the book of Acts, you know, we see that, uh, that uh, I think um, Philip went. He went to preach the gospel in certain city. I think certain city. Um, there were this magician. I think it. I think it's a, it's, it's, a, it's in Act Eight. Or I may I may, I may be mistaken. Uh, but he went and preached. The Bible says that when Peter heard, Peter and John heard that the gospel reached that place too, they went and they laid their hand on them and they began to speak in tongues and they, they were baptized in the Holy Spirit. So we can also be baptized. In the Holy Spirit, when a man of God, a true man of God, lays hand on you and prays for God to baptize you, you can be also baptized in the Holy Spirit that way. There's also, um, yeah, uh, there's a, you pray, you ask God. There's also uh, somebody, a man of God, who is baptized in the Holy Spirit, can also lay your hand and then you'll be baptized in the Holy Spirit. And, and I think for you to receive the Holy Spirit and to be able to speak in tongues, the first thing is you have to believe that God is able to baptize you and you to speak in tongues. We have to believe in speaking in tongues. You know, it's about believing. If you don't believe in that, I think it's going to be difficult. I remember we in prayer with uh, with my friend, um, uh, with my friend, this friend of mine, a uh, very close friend of mine. He, uh, as we, we're praying, we I think we're in three days fasting. As, as we're praying, uh, we're speaking in tongues and he couldn't speak in tongues. And then we stopped praying. I said, I said, I said my friend, like, can you, you, you want us to be baptized in the Holy Spirit and speak in tongues? He said, no, I don't believe in those things. He said, I don't believe in those things. So we kept on praying, you know. He got, you know, as we're praying, because we could, could go for, 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 for six hours praying without stopping. And he, 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 could, he was getting tired and just sitting and watching us praying and everything. And then, uh, when we have a pause, we sat down and then we opened the Bible and we start preaching to him about the Holy Spirit and how, how, how you can be baptized in the Holy Spirit. And then he accepted. 
and he believed that day that uh, he can be also be baptized in the Holy Spirit and be uh, uh, speaking tongues. And then we prayed for him the same day he spoke. The same day he spoke in tongues, he got baptized in the Holy Spirit, and his prayer life has never been the same. He has changed, you know. You know, the, the Holy Spirit even gives us the power to pray. You know, a lot of people have been asking, when you why when you say praying, how can a man pray for? For many hours, how can men pray for many hours? It's only possible, a man cannot pray for many hours. It's only possible through the Holy Spirit. When we are baptizing the Holy Spirit, it's possible to pray for many hours because the Holy Spirit energizes us, you know, energizes us and He prays through us. You know, you can't be praying for hours with word because you're gonna run out of word. <laughs> you're gonna run out of word. Me, myself, when I pray, most of my prayers are in thanks because. I run out of word. I pray in the Holy Spirit and I'm connected. I feel the presence of God. He connects me and He connects me. And it's so, so the reason why praying in tongues is very, very important for believers. It gives us, also it energizes, it gives us power and energy even to go to see God. And it, it's, even the Holy Spirit which send us to pray, you know, we, we as ourselves as a man, we don't have even the desire to be able to pray. It's only the Holy Spirit which help us to be able to pray and uh, this is the first the first video I'm talking about um, I, I'm talking I, I was talking about the speaking in tongues and then I think I want to make another videos uh, you know again about the Holy Spirit may the, the Lord God bless you